Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. You're here with Vanilla Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when he's doing nautical things of a nautical variety. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. Aw, what a tough guy. Johnny's our main man, he even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. Oh, he inspires loyalty in his followers, that's for certain. Jump on this, and it'll take you out. Or you could walk out, you know, if you're crazy. But back to Seaside Town, where the Elder needed the star for something. <laughs> you found the star. Well done. But your journey ends here. You're so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yuridovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder. My impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. <laughs> I knew there was something fishy about these guys. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. Brownie points. It's, I had never heard of that phrase before I started playing this game. And, like, I use it now these days because I thought it was just, like, a normal thing. And nobody knows what the fuck brownie points are. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over. Nice and easy. No way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hand this star over to you. I, I'd rather fight you for it. So that's how you want to play it. What do you think will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? Oh no! Oh no! I didn't know. The real elder. What are you doing? No! Don't do that! No! Please stop! Heck! Oh no! I'm so sorry. Alright, alright. Now isn't a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled like this? Alright, alright. I'll hand it over. I'm sorry. I owe that old man an apology. Hee <laughs> And to think I got the star without even soiling my hands. Such a genius, it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. Alright everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here by the now. Uh, first things first, party management. Um, I don't want Gino. Um, uh, yeah, I want Bowser, definitely. I want to bring Toadstool, but she just doesn't have enough hit points for what's about to happen. It's locked. Damn. All right, Yuridovich. Blades late. What's taking him so long? We need to get out of here. Wait, Boyer, Yuridovich, Blade? Uh, Yuridovich, Yari is a, the Japanese long spear. Um, they're all named after weapons. Mac! Mac was a giant knife. They're named after Mac the knife. This is... Smithy has a fixation. This is just great. Mario caught up with us. What were you expecting? You moved like 50 feet. Only one thing we can do now. Although we may rest a little, we'll have to swim for it. Rust a little. Are they really made out of metal? Not so fast there. That star is a gift to me, mate Mario. Your spineless dogs have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. <laughs> Guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Group formation. Ugh. What? What the hell is that? Why, it's your of of course. Alright. I don't think this background gets used in any other part of the game, either. Just an idle thought. Point being, your is pretty tough. I mean, literally, it didn't take a lot of damage. Oh, wait. No, I probably wanted the peach. Yup, I wanted the peach. But I screwed it up. I have one froggy drink? Oh no. Oh no. Have I made an error? No, I have more than one froggy drink. What's up with my inventory? It's all over the place. Anyway. A couple Geno Bursts around. Boosts around. Geno Bursts! And everything should be fine. Yeah, it's reasons like that that Yuridovich are tough. 
his magic attacks just do a lot of damage. And he's not afraid to just spam it out. Just spam it out, Yuridovich. Actually, that defense up gives me enough uh, defensive ability to just sort of ignore most of his attacks. You know what? Mm, I'm going for it. Boom, Rocky Cola. Eventually, there's a point in the game where you can buy those. Nice! But as you can understand, I, I, I don't want to use them all willy-nilly. They're pretty rare. Alright, let's test Yuridovich's defense against magic. Mario, get the fire! I don't know if he'll do a lot of damage, considering he uses water-based attacks. Although I think Water Blast is technically in the ice tree. Because, whatever. Oh god, got it, okay. Not, not using ice against him. No, not using magic against him, I mean. Words. I don't know what words mean. It's a, it's a tragic condition. Alright, alright, that's some damage. Actually, I wish I had Malo around to tell me how many hit points this guy has. Mirage attack! That's right! They, you, you know that whole, I t take on multiple forms thing? They're doing something with it. Pretty tricky figuring out which one's the real one. Near as I can tell, it's easiest to use a group attack. And the copy is... Hmm, I think this is the real one. The copy is the one that has erratic damage. Considering how weak to Yuridovich... Uh, considering how strong Yuridovich is to magic... It wouldn't be surprised if Terrorize, an ability from Bowser that doesn't do a lot of damage, would actually have done nothing. Make no mistake, the copy can damage you. Can't. I've just been successfully defending against it. So yeah, it basically says this guy gets two turns every turn. Yeah, if, if the Fire Orb only did like 60 damage, then the Terrorize could have feasibly done one, but it definitely couldn't have done 80. See what I mean? Ugh. That being said, that attack only doing 45 damage. Now that that makes me suspect of everything. Oh, I'm so confused. Maybe I should just split my split my attacks. Yeah, the copy takes erratic damage from attacks. So I don't know. Keep keep tabs of how much damage you're doing. Uh, that being said, eventually, he will reform no matter what. So yeah, I think I, I, I bet on the wrong horse. Darn it. Uh, oh, never mind. Did I bet right? Did it matter? I don't know. I'm so confused. Whatever, I beat the Spearman. Literal Spearman. Nice. I love this music. Smithy is now in the race for the star pieces. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? Ooh! Oh, it's the shed key. To Mario. No one knew it must have been a breeze knocking down Yada today. By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. Aw, shucks. I do like how it's stabbed into that tree with a knife. Wouldn't, wouldn't be piratey any other way, you know? Let's get these guys out of here. I'm so sorry about the tickling. Phew, thanks so much. I've had enough of cramped, dirty old places like this. Hey, fella. You got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. It was mighty unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Yeah. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to get back to work now, but stop by the inn. Hey, buddy. Ah, Mario. Thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. They did torture me a little, but it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fun fact. If you, um... If you, if you keep having them tickle him, you don't get that flower item at all. I'm pretty sure you get a flower box if you just gave it up. That'd be, it, like, whoa, oh, jeez. 
Like, if you had the foresight to be like, oh, yeah, they'll probably do something terrible. Oh, sweet. Gotta, gotta, gotta get that parasol. They'll probably do, if you figured that they'd probably do something terrible to him, which is, you know, it's not, it's, it's not a stretch, just like, oh, shocker. They've got all the townspeople somewhere. They'll probably do something terrible to them. That being said, you know, y you had to, Mega? Mega cape? Where was I supposed to pick those up? I'm so confused. Point being, like, the game isn't too punishing for experimentation. Like, I had to deny him. I, I had to see what would happen. Health food store. Ugh. Oh, it's just a regular item shop. But they call it a health food store, which makes me feel better about it. I'm not sure if I'm being deceived or if that's good marketing. Oh, goodie bag. That being said, I need to stock up on some items. Eh, that should be good enough. But, um, yeah. I think, I don't, I don't remember. Mushroom Boy! Hey, hey, hey! I'm the Mushroom Boy! Do you know that hidden amongst the regular mushrooms are some special ones? Unreal, huh? I'll give you items in return for those special mushrooms, but you gotta taste them to find out what kind they are. So I'll take a nibble first. Hoping for a special mushroom, but even if it isn't, at least I get a meal out of it. Have any mushrooms? Nope. They have to be plain mushrooms, and they basically get eaten. Also, number one, cannibalism. Number two, psychotropics. Oh, hello there, you were so brave to rescue us. I'm so thankful, but listen, maybe it's time you thought a little more about what you wear. Ah, just in case you hadn't been uh, concerned with your... Um, accessories before, here's a little NPC saying, no, 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 pay attention to that stuff. Accessories are some of the most powerful items in the game. Why not if we just stop by? It's quite a trek from your place, isn't it? Out there, there aren't many people passing through. It gets awful lonely sometimes. All right, old man, you convinced me. But anyway, yeah, Mushroom Boy can give you all sorts of cool, uh, cool bombs and stuff that you can't get anywhere else. That being said, you are just, like, feeding him mushrooms and praying to RN Jesus. But I mean, RN Jesus is our Lord and Savior, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That's it for Seaside Town. Oh. oh where, where to next? Oh. Oh my. Should I go talk to the Elder? Oh. Now I'm a little, I'm a little vexed, confused, bamboozled. Oh yeah, by the way, beetles are us. Male, 50 coin. Female, 1 coin. Golden beetle, 1 five coin. Welcome to beetles are us. We run a beetle business here. No. Please come again. If you, uh, pay him 100 coins, or 200 coins, or some ridiculous sum, he will, uh, give you a beetle box which you can use to go to Booster's Way to capture some beetles. Ah, the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A Muzz came by the other day, and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. All right, there we are. That's odd. Why didn't he just, like, mention that on his way out the shed? Like, it would be really easy to just not, not know to go there. In any event, to the Land's End we go. Behold! Cannons! So the cannon will rock back and forth. Uh-oh. And... Uh, uh, crap. The cannon will rock back and forth. And, uh, when you press the B button, you'll get launched out of it. Uh... Oh, never mind. Shogun! quite an armored ant. That is quite an armored ant. Jeez, guy. Yay! Nothing like Bowser getting a buff. Oh my god! This ant is not messing around. He is the king ant. I, for one, accept our new ant overseers. They have some damage. That attack up does uh, tons of damage. 
too much. Too much damage. Just kidding. No such thing as too much damage. Not yet, anyway. We may very well reach the point of too much damage. Hey, Gino, level up. What do we got? Hit points. Magic. Looks like hit points. Man could use some more hit points, you know? Oh, darn it. Ugh. There's a way up there. And there's a way to get that treasure chest. Duh. I don't remember. No. Oh. oh well. Enough of that. Lizards getting fired out of cannons. Darn tootin. Oh, this is unpleasant. Gek it? What the heck is a gek it? Sleep sauce. Huh. Had no effect. I guess Mario's accessory, that that uh, safety ring, also protects from certain status effects. Just reinforcing how incredibly awesome it is. Get it. Find it. Use the secret door. Gotta give Bowser those mad ups. He won't destroy the entire enemy group by himself without one of those. Caution, confused monster. That's right. Gekets are naturally confused. They start off the fight and can occasionally attack allies. For not a lot of damage. They're really more of a liability than anything. I was about to say, why did Smithy let these guys join his army? And then I realized, I don't think they work for Smithy. I think they're just a group of wandering monsters. A group of wandering geckos who want to kill me. 20 experience points. Ugh, slow down. That's right, though. The age of experience points. And lots of battles. Like a butt ton of battles. Not comfortable with all these battles? That's good. I'll probably do some farming off screen and then. Ugh. And then get good. And then move on. By the time I'm done, we'll vanquish these foes in the, the singles of blows. You heard me. Jeez. 16 experience points. What's, uh, what's the going rate on a level up these days? Uh, so Gino just leveled up. Is it 236? <laughs> oh god, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Oh my god. Oh, get it away from me! Oh. It's a little side area over here. It's a little important because you can jump into that hole. What's this way? Mystery. Ah, crap. Uh. Oh, damn it, I want to show off the secrets. I want to show off the secrets. Would everyone stop putting my group to sleep? That would be great. Two damage? Now I'm not even afraid of you. Oof. 36. Four. These damage numbers are all over the place. Alright, um, this one. Get it. Okay, never mind. Thought he could finish it off? I was wrong. I made a terrible mistake. Also, what is that noise? That's not the noise it's supposed to. Oh my god! It's not the noise it's supposed to make. That's not the amount of damage I'm supposed to take. Oh my goodness. We almost have a puppet down. Puppet down. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness his attack went up. You know? What would he do without that? What is... What is this bizarro world where I get timed hits and only do 79 damage? Great. 10 out of 10. Did these guys get their turns skipped? Whatever. Not gonna complain. Not too much. All right, there we go. Enough of that. All right, everyone. I am going to go do some off-screen farming because this is just too much for me. So I'll see you all uh, next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Good night, everyone.